Hello friends and my dear students. Welcome back to my channel Phoenix Physics. Today we are going to learn torque experienced by an electric dipole in the uniform electric field. Before going into this topic, you have to recall two important terms. One is torque, another one is couple. So what is torque? Torque is a twist or turning force on an object. Usually, torque is a measure of how much a force acting on an object causes that object to rotate. It is denoted by the letter tau. Tau is a vector quantity. Tau is equal to R cross F. Suppose if you want to find out the magnitude of the torque means the magnitude of the torque can be written as R F sin theta and the unit for tau is Newton meter. So what is this R? R is nothing but a distance. Example for this torque is spanner. We rotate the spanner in the clockwise direction to tighten a nut. So spanner is one of the example for torque. Look at this diagram, you can understand better. So here, this is our axis. From this point to this end, the distance is R. Here the force is F. So it is nothing but R cross F. You can say it is a cross product or we can say vector product. Both are same. So tau is equal to R cross F. Then what about couple? It is a special case of torque. Here, two equal and unlike parallel force applied simultaneously at two distinct points constitute a couple. Example for this couple is turning a tap, tightening a bottle cap. Here, we have one force in this direction and another force in this direction. So, constitute a couple. The torque you know, electric dipole you know. What is electric dipole? Two equal and opposite charges separated by a distance constitute an electric dipole. That you know. Then what about uniform electric field? This horizontal lines are called electric field lines. I hope you know that. You know that electric field lines start from plus q charge and end at minus q charge. Here these electric field lines are equally spaced and point in the same direction. Point in the same direction. So this kind of field is called uniform electric field. So this is our uniform electric field. So what is our uniform electric field? Electric field lines are equally spaced and point in the same direction. That kind of field is called uniform electric field. Here, consider an electric dipole AB separated by a distance 2A. This is midpoint of the dipole O. So, from O to A, the distance is A. From O to B, the distance is A. So, the electric dipole AB separated by a distance 2A. You know that electric dipole moment vector that is p vector electric dipole vector is directed from minus q to plus q so this is the direction of p vector minus q to plus q p vector makes an angle theta with e what is this E? E is electric field. P is electric 
dipole moment vector at b i have placed plus q charge at a i have placed minus q charge this charge plus q will experience a force qe in the direction of the field this charge minus q will experience a force minus qe in the opposite direction opposite direction of electric field why because we are applying external field so you know that electric field lines start from minus q to plus q so imagine this side you have plus charges and this side you have minus charges so electric field lines start from plus to minus charge here i have plus charge this is also plus charge you know that like charges repel each other that is why the direction is like this here i have plus charge and here i have minus charge unlike charges attract each other that is why the direction is like this so here i have repulsive force here i have attractive force you know that these two forces will constitute a couple you know the definition of couple so these two forces constitute a couple here one important point this field is uniform field uniform electric field i hope you know that then what about the total force the total force or net force is zero why because we are taking uniform electric field here i have plus q e force here i have minus q e force so the total force is zero plus q e force and minus q e force so the total force is zero because of this uniform electric field why it is zero these two forces are equal in magnitude but oppositely directed this is this force is in the direction of electric field this force is in the opposite direction of electric field so the total force is zero but these two forces will constitute a couple you know the definition of couple so the torque what is torque torque is nothing but a turning effect right so the torque rotates the dipole about the point o this is the midpoint of the dipole so torque tends to rotate the dipole about o so torque tends to rotate the dipole about point o then how do you write tau tau can be written as o a into plus q e plus o b into minus q e how did i write this equation based on this formula this is my r vector this is f vector this is my r vector and this is my f vector so what is r r is nothing but a distance how do you calculate magnitude of torque so this is magnitude so magnitude of torque can be written as oa vector modulus qe vector sin theta plus ob vector modulus qe sin theta how did i write this based on this formula because i am calculating the magnitude so this is my r and this is my f this is my r and this is my f i am taking the modulus that is why 
I didn't put the negative sign. So what is OA here? OA is the distance. That is A. A QE sin theta. Plus what is OB? OB is A QE sin theta. So the total one is 2A QE sin theta. You know that dipole moment vector can be written as 2A QI vector. I is nothing but a unit vector. Suppose if you calculate the magnitude means P can be written as 2A Q alone. Same way here also I am taking the magnitude. So instead of 2A Q you can write P. So tau is equal to P E sin theta or you can write tau vector is equal to P vector cross E vector based on this formula. So tau can be written as P E sin theta or tau vector is equal to P cross E vector. Tau is equal to P E sin theta. This formula will give the magnitude of the torque. Then what about the direction? Because tau is a vector quantity. We can easily calculate the direction based on the right hand rule. You have already learnt this rule in your 11th standard. So here right hand rule. That is why I am using my right hand. So if you curl your fingers in the anti-clockwise direction, your thumb will point out of the plane. If you curl your fingers in the clockwise direction, your thumb will point into the plane. Here the rotation, the torque tends to rotate the dipole about O. So it is in the clockwise direction. The direction of torque points inside the plane. So the direction of torque inside the plane. So in your book it is marked like this. Inside the plane means into the board. I can't draw. So it is marked like this. Whether it is outside or inside perpendicular to the plane only. Okay. So the torque will point inside the plane based on the right hand rule. When do you get maximum tau value at theta equal to 90 degree? You know that sin 90 is 1. So at theta equal to 90 degree tau is maximum. So this torque tend to align this dipole in the direction of field. The dipole is aligned in the direction of electric field itself. Here there is no angle. Theta equal to 0 degree. So tau is 0. Under what condition if P is aligned with the direction of E theta equal to 0 degree. So tau is 0. These are all for uniform electric field. If you take non-uniform electric field, look at the diagram. Distance between the two lines are not equally spaced lines. See, different, different lines. Same way, the direction also different. So this kind of electric field is called non-uniform electric field. Suppose if you place one electric dipole in, an, in a non-uniform electric field means you can get the net force because if it is uniform electric field means the net force is zero. Here, here also this charge will experience one force and this charge will experience one force. This is attractive force and this is repulsive force. This is same but the electric field is not uniform. So E1, E2 are different. In a uniform electric field, both the forces are equal in magnitude but opposite direction. Here, if it is non-uniform electric field means both the forces are 
in the opposite direction but the magnitude is different so you can get net force in this class we have discussed about what is torque what is couple and what is uniform electric field then we derived magnitude of the torque formula then we discussed about the direction of torque based on right hand rule finally we discussed one special case suppose if you pl place an electric dipole in a non uniform field means there will be a net force acting on a dipole if it is uniform electric field means the net force is zero this is our conclusion i hope this video is useful to you if you like my video please share and subscribe my video thank you